Yo, check it. Just went to the supermarket for some grapes. So, I get in the supermarket to find me some, some good red grapes. So, they got two different kinds of grapes. They have the seedless grapes and they have the seeded grapes. So, the seedless grapes, which are smaller, they don't have any seeds in them. And then you have the seeded grapes, which are much larger. They're three times the price. <laughs> it's like, why even have an option on different types of grapes? It's like sending someone to the, to the store and say, buy me a tomato and buy me a tomato. Or buy me a, toma a potato and buy me a potato. Why do you have two different grapes in the supermarket? But it's just interesting. I guess we have name, name brand grapes now, I guess. You know, of course, seedless grapes are not organic. You know, they're genetically modified to not have seeds in them. And so seeded grapes would be the more natural way to go. But it's yeah, just so interesting. And then the, 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 the person that doesn't even think, uh, have a second thought about it would, <laughs> would most definitely <laughs> purchase the, you know, the cheaper or less expensive grapes. And I'm just standing there. I bet, it, I bet it was probably the most funniest, most cutest thing to just watch me in front of the freaking fruit aisle trying to decide which grapes I want to purchase. <laughs> like, hmm, do I purchase this gigantic bunch of seedless grapes for $1.29? Or do I just buy regular seeded grapes for almost four times the price? It's like three something, three fifty or something like that. It's like, wow. <laughs> but um, we got my grapes. Headed back to the house. My little, my nice little walk. Should have got me a little something extra. But we'll skip out on the drink for today. Still have a nice gallon of water. Keep a, I keep gallons of water in my room even though there's like a, a water cleanser on the refrigerator door. I just like to have water on hand so I buy gallons of water. I used to buy bottled water, like mad bottled water. Now I just keep gallons of water in my room usually next to my bed so that I can always hydrate, especially after drinking. You know, I do like to get my spirits in you know, my orange juice and vodka. Gotta get my screwdrivers in, you know. After enjoying myself, got to rehydrate, got to flush yourself. But um, yeah, I just wanted to um, get on. See, these this is how things start, you know. At one at one point, 20 years ago, when I was growing up, chicken wasn't so abundant. I mean, chicken has always been abundant, but chicken wasn't always so abundant as it is now you know you get a big gigantic pack of genetically modified chicken breasts for cheap you know uh, things like that these things slowly happen over time you barely barely notice them you know service agreements and things like that there is a you know you download your apps and you just clicking through you don't even read all your rights that you're giving away on these apps you know there was a point where watermelons were seeded now most watermelons are seedless so a lot of things change no matter if it's the food that we eat or the technology i mean it's even the water the same we don't we don't drink the same water that we had <laughs> 30 years ago you know a lot of the water has been changed diluted contaminated you know there's still fresh water in um you know different parts of the world but for the most part, in these tightly condensed areas, everything is so, you know, everything is in one place. So, you know, your tap water is literally crap water. <laughs> Didn't that rhyme? Put some Kool-Aid in that crap water with some sugar. Don't you got you a nice refreshing beverage? That's the trap. <laughs> Go fill your body up with some sugary Kool-Aid. <laughs> Drinking this processed tap water. As much fluoride we can stuff in fluoride and chlorine but um yeah that that's you know it's not such a big armageddon or an apocalypse these things slowly happen over time under your nose 
you know, politicians, you know, they hold their secret meetings, not even secret meetings, they just hold their meetings all the time under your nose, voting in and voting out different laws and expectations they have to govern the people for the next 100, 200, 300 years. And people don't really pay attention. They don't understand these things. They don't have time for these things. They don't have the wherewithal. And wherewithal generally means finances in most cases to even, you know, start to change some of these things or represent human likeness in a positive way. I'm telling you, when the aliens get here, <laughs> it ain't going to be about who got the most money or who think they the smartest. The number one thing that any consciousness, even be, even before the mitochondria had a brain, the only thing it knows is to come together with other mitochondria. The only thing the cell knows is how to go from a single cell organism to splitting itself into a multi-cell organism. You don't want to be by yourself. Consciously or unconsciously, we multiply. You know, so... Yeah, um... Stay on your um, stay on the up and up. Stay up on, stay. Increase your knowledge. Increase your awareness of these different things. Again, mindfulness and awareness. These are things that can be measured. Perception. These things can be, you know, these things can be measured. You know, there's a different perception or awareness or vision view from the first floor, the second floor, the third floor, and the twentieth floor. You know, there's a different expanse of you know, what you're able to perceive, what you're able to think up. Different emotions are expounded upon on these different areas of awareness. So if you want to move your mind in the area of um, mindfulness on your brain when it comes to, uh, you know, speech, you know, there's, there, you know, there's, there's the left, there's the left side of the brain, there's the right side of the brain, you know, these electrical impulses, electricity, which is light, of course, you know, all these things, they pass through you and you have to know how to filter them, whether it's going to be physically, spiritually, mentally, whatever options thrown your way, financially. These are all different dimensions that you have to master throughout your lifetime. So don't let anything hold you back, you know. Especially the easy stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the easy stuff like what people think about you. Or how much money you have in your pocket. or <laughs> These simple things that can be overturned within the drop of a hat. So, be mindful. You, know, you have to be present. And you have to be, you know, you have to be in tuned and one with yourself. But I think I've run it enough for the second time two days. Time to get in the house and cook me a nice splendid dinner and enjoy me some breaks. You guys be safe. Have a good one.